2022, I believe 2022, I mean, 2021, since November of 2021, the researchers at Harty have been hard at work examining and researching the climate change effects and the adaptations that farmers have made uh, to their farming practices given climate change and its effects. So I would like to direct your attention now to the screens so that you may take a look for yourselves the work that has gone in to today's event. zone of Sri Lanka, the resilient spirit of its people shines through amidst the innumerable challenges posed by persistent adverse effects of climate change. This commitment to a resilient way of life, capable of withstanding climate shocks, is particularly admirable as vulnerable and marginalized groups, including women, children, and those with disabilities, bear a disproportionate burden. Despite their limited capacity to combat these effects, surrendering to the challenges is not an option. To delve into the intricacies of this resilience and adaptation, World Vision Lanka and the Hector Kabakarawa Agrarian Research and Training Institute collaborated on a new study across four districts in the dry zone of Sri Lanka. The study aimed to explore the adaptability of vulnerable groups to climate change and examine farming practices tailored to cope with the challenges posed by these conditions. The daily lives of the people in Kilinachi, Batakaloa, Monaragala, and Hambantota districts showcase a heightened impact from climate change, variations in climate patterns, and extreme weather events. While these areas are naturally predisposed to dry weather conditions, the intensity of prolonged dry spells, high temperature. An unpredictable rainfall has amplified over the past few decades. Communities grapple with challenges such as drought, water scarcity, high soil salinity, crop damage, and erratic weather patterns. Despite being cognizant of these problems, a substantial number of individuals in these communities do not fully comprehend that climate change underlies the root causes of these challenges. A significant portion of the population in the dry zone is engaged in livelihoods sensitive to climate conditions. Ongoing climate changes have a continuous impact on their means of earning a living. Male residents often seek employment elsewhere due to increasing threats to agriculture-related economic activities. However, Opportunities for women to participate in income earning activities outside their villages are limited due to household chores. Daily routines of rural households, particularly women and children, bear a significant brunt due to climate change. Despite substantial contributions to agriculture, women remain underrepresented in decision making roles and their economic contributions go largely unrecognized and unevaluated. Climate change repercussions extend to children's education, negatively impacting school attendance during extreme weather conditions. Scarcity of water adversely affects daily life and agricultural activities, posing a significant challenge for residents, especially housewives responsible for water security. Despite facing numerous challenges, these communities persist with resilience and hope. While there are opportunities for high earning avenues, both on farm and non farm, the establishment of a support system is crucial to assist these communities in initiating and successfully implementing such activities while addressing existing issues and shortcomings. Efforts to uphold food security amid the nation's economic crisis are prevalent across the four districts. Scarcity of food and water in surrounding forest areas leads to wildlife venturing into villages, causing damage to crops. 
This poses a significant threat to local communities' efforts to secure their food supply, affecting farm income. Despite challenges in earning a living, individuals, aware of current weather and climate conditions, actively seek alternatives and solutions. Farmers initiate effective resource management and adopt climate-adaptive farming practices to minimize climate risks on their livelihoods. Initiating land preparation with the onset of rainfall is a viable measure to prevent potential crop damage due to water scarcity. This approach conserves water in minor irrigation systems, allowing saved water to be utilized in the following season. Farmers increasingly adopt the cultivation of short and medium duration crop varieties in both Maha and Yala seasons to adapt to the current climate. In Batakaloa, a noteworthy climate-adapted farming technique involves cultivating perennial high-value crops like pomegranates instead of seasonal vegetable crops. In Kilinachi, farmers have shifted to commercial cultivation of cassava and morina due to their lower water requirements. Aloe vera is also popular for its greater drought tolerance. However, challenges related to the lack of a consistent market for agricultural products persist, necessitating intervention to enhance the efficiency of the marketing system. In the Kilinachi lowlands, high soil salinity is addressed through specific techniques, such as plowing with partially burnt paddy husks and dried palm leaves. Farmers show keen interest in understanding soil fertility through soil testing, reflecting commitment to good agricultural practices. Water-saving methods include small water ponds, known as pathas or kulam, established in Hambantota and Kilinachi, capturing and storing runoff water for crop cultivation and animal husbandry. Rainwater harvesting devices, though underutilized, offer potential for storing and conserving water. Traditional methods, like the Bethma system in Hambantota and Monaragala, fairly share limited water resources in minor irrigation systems during dry Yala seasons. Adaptation strategies extend to animal husbandry, prevalent in all four districts. Cattle rearing is common, and goat farming thrives in Batakaloa and Kilinachi. Maintaining a limited number of crossbred milking cattle proves successful in the face of climate impacts. Backyard poultry rearing, especially in Batakaloa and Kilinachi, addresses household protein requirements with thoughtful approaches considering local climate challenges. Financial support through credit, especially agricultural loans, plays a crucial role in overcoming challenges posed by climate-related events. Both men and women access loans in similar proportions, highlighting the significance of credit in overcoming climate challenges. This is the untold story of those grappling with the consequences of climate change. The only recourse available is to adapt and confront climate change. These individuals are striving to safeguard their livelihoods and instigate positive change in their lives through adaptation efforts. The study underscores the importance of recognizing and supporting these resilient communities as they navigate the complex interplay of climate challenges and adaptation strategies in the dry zone of Sri Lanka. <laughs>